Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this WWE discussion video. This isn't breaking news. This isn't about WWE action figures. It's not like a review of All Out or anything like that. Uh, we're going to talk about a bit of information that's kind of slipped under the radar. It's kind of gone unnoticed. There's been that much wrestling this weekend. I suppose it's not really a surprise. Uh, of course, we had New Japan uh, Royal Quest. We had AEW All Out. Uh, we had NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff. Um, so this little bit of information has gone a little bit unnoticed. Uh, the news has come from Wrestling Observer. It's come from Brian Alvarez. Uh, and that news is that WWE have got another big announcement. We had a big announcement the other week. NXT moved from the WWE Network to the USA Network. It went on to TV in America, which is massive, absolutely massive. Well, apparently they've got another announcement that's just as big, just as big. So uh, a lot of excitement online, a lot of speculation. I thought we would gather together some of those rumors uh, and kind of go through them here. I want to start with the biggest rumour. I want to start with the one I think is most likely. Um, and that is that Evolve is going to go onto the WWE Network. Now, this might not seem like that big a deal at first. But it honestly depends how far they go with this. There's now a big NXT shaped hole in the network. Because NXT uh, kind of comes off in many ways. It'll still be there. But people are going to watch it on the USA Network now rather than the WWE Network. So it's not going to have the same impact that it had. So they need more wrestling content, original wrestling content. They could create a brand new show. They could invest a bit more in NXT UK. That would be fine. Um, or they could get in touch with their good friends Evolve, who are uh, an indie wrestling promotion... And they could say to them, would you like a weekly spot on the WWE Network to put your shows on and show off your talent? Uh, and they could go down that road. They could go even further. They could buy Evolve and they could make Evolve the new NXT. So when people now get signed and they need to train, they go to Evolve. Uh, they're still going to be seen on the WWE Network because Evolve would have a weekly show. And then when they're ready, they get called up to NXT, Raw, or SmackDown Live. So it could be like a real change in the whole developmental system. Uh, it'd be really, really big news. They could go even further than that. They could bring in other companies that they've got relationships with, like Progress, ICW. They've got like working relationships with wrestling promotions all over the world. So they could go as far as they wanted to go. So that's the front runner. That's what people think it might be. We don't know if it is that. We don't know how far they're going to go. Are they just going to put Evolve shows on for original content? Are they then going to uh, make it their developmental? Are they then going to reach out to other companies? We don't know how far they'll go. But that's the big rumour. That's what most people think the announcement is going to be. Moving on to a few other announcements that it could be. It could be a draft, a superstar shakeup. Um, obviously, we know that what with NXT going to USA Network, what with SmackDown going over to Fox, um, you know, fresh faces, moving people around. Um, it, it makes sense to do it now. Um, you know, you might want a bit more star power down in NXT. You might want some new fresh faces. Uh, over on SmackDown Live. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if they moved Matt Riddle to SmackDown. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they moved Daniel Bryan to NXT. Uh, I just think, like, someone like Daniel Bryan that's all about wrestling and passionate about wrestling, I think he fits in with NXT perfectly. And you've got to remember as well, it's not developmental anymore. This is going to be on nationwide TV in front of millions of people. It, it feels weird saying Daniel Bryan goes to NXT. You've got to stop thinking that way. 
NXT is main roster. As soon as it moves, it becomes main roster. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they do a little bit of a draft. Maybe nothing too drastic, but a little bit of a draft. Uh, just to freshen things up and to give NXT just that sprinkling of star power. Moving on, uh, it could be NXT Canada, NXT Japan. Uh, so uh, the plan has always been to have lots of NXTs. They don't just want the one in America. They wanted one in Europe, which is why we got NXT UK. They've spoken about NXT Canada. They've looked over in Japan as well. Of course, that's where New Japan is based and they really want to get a foothold over there. Um, and I'm sure they would want to look at getting one in Africa, maybe even the Middle East. Um, what with those shows that they're doing over there. So um, I really think they're looking at trying to expand NXT around the world. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they announce a few new NXT bases. Uh, that would be big news. And again... They could then generate their own weekly shows. Uh, that would, in turn, provide new content to the network. Um, so, yeah, again, that could be as big uh, as they are willing to go with it. And that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.